The first edition of potentially three Super H Stadium travels sees a second visit of the year to the Mendehose Jungle, home of the Castlewood Tigers. So, Super H Stadium travels begins up in Castlewood. On the original stadium travels, we didn't get this training pitch from last time, which is adjacent to the stadium. Gives it a bit of a hardest facility wise, I suppose. In terms of concessions, obviously, Castlewood got a bit of a horrible rating last time. One that we'll be doing ours from is the ice cream van over there. You have got the Tiger Bar over in the far corner and the meeting place over there. Well, here we are in the Mender Hose Jungle. At a different end than we usually are. We're usually on the far end, so we thought we'd take, it up, take a walk down and have a look. Could be the last time we come to here. I don't think it will be because I can't see the new stadium being built. But we'll soon see. Today's programme, £3, as you'd expect. 10 out of 10 quality, but then it always is it. Luke Gale up front. The black and amber. So, weather's cleared up a little bit more at the Mendo's jungle. It's actually sunny. Never been here when it's rained before though, so good weather's always good for me when we come here. As far as entertainment's concerned, we've had the mascot come out so far, and in the middle of the pitch there, only you can see it, we've got the castle with clothes. So, I don't think the entertainment clip worked in the early bit, whether it's in the video or not, I don't know. But anyway, the castle with clothes in the middle of, well, slightly in the middle of the pitch anyway. Singer tonight is someone, I think he said he was called J Sky, but we'll soon see. It doesn't sound too bad anyway. Entertainment got 10 out of 10 here last year, so it's pretty hard to, well, last year, this year as well, pretty hard to top that to be honest. So, just over five minutes away from kickoff here at the Mendoza Jungle, so it's time for some statistics. 215th overall game for me, 202nd for Wigan. 13th against Castleford, is it going to be an unlucky 13 for me? Eight wins, four defeats, four game winning streak for me, which is pretty decent, seeing as I only got my first win here this year. Looking for avoiding a 25th away defeat in what is now a 49th away game. Number 50 should come with the KCOM. We'll see. 40. Well, hang on, 43rd game of 2016 for me, which for someone who's unemployed, it's a bloody bad, is it? Ninth Super 8 game overall. Castle with Wigan, Super 8 round 2, 8 o'clock kickoff. Hey, how come the teams, as far as the atmosphere is concerned, the entire away end clap, clapping. Look at that. The other three sides completely silent. I mean, how come the Tigers' the atmosphere picks up a little bit more? But the other three stands, not that much better than what we heard from Wigan a few minutes ago though. So, I would say, Super 8 round 2, Castle with Wigan, let's hope it's a good one. Of the year, of course, where we have well, annual presentation. Traditional disappointment at half time has come back. Last week, we was a happy Wigan fan. Today, not really that good. Not really thrown anything at Castle with first half. Joe Cobb's not exactly shown himself in glory, though, to be honest. Half time, Castle with 12, Wigan 6. So, half time here, like I say, 12 6, as far as the half time entertainment's concerned here at Castlewood. They just said the best team in Super League dance wise. I know that's not true because the Warrior Gales are. But anyway, Castlewood Close over there in the middle. Spread out a bit as well tonight. But I say good weather, lovely backdrop there weather wise anyway, down the towers. But anyway, it's same at half time, Castlewood Close in the middle. Not long left here. Castlewood 26, Wigan 22. Castlewood's going to win the game here. I think they might be. One thing that Castlewood will get marked down on is Castlewood have their fans in our end. This is supposed to be in a way end, is it not? Look at that. Castlewood fans in our own end and they've won the game there. That's what you call away fans. I know you're allowed to mix, but I'm surrounded by them here. That's game over, that. Sorry. Okay. Full time here at the Mendoza Jungle, Castlewood 36, Wigan Warriors 22. The reason Castlewood will be getting a horrific rating for facilities tonight. Six was bad. There you go. That's Castlewood celebrating the win. If that's in a way end, I'm sorry, but this is ridiculous. Stadium travel then tonight, win the defeat. Cast 36, Wigan 22, Wigan got with his aid. Castlewood, I hope you do move to a new stadium because this one's just a disgrace. Anyone who basically watched the previous version of the Mental Host Jungle 1 and also the Castlewood rating was a 43. The improvement for this visit was that the concessions were a little better to use and better priced, I'd say. I think I don't think I had a review this time round, but we had a bit of a discussion about it. 
44 out of 50, which moves them above Salford and moves them clear of Hull FC. That could be the next one, like I say. I'm not sure whether I'll be doing that one or a Hull FC, obviously, the concessions is there to be improved on and the entertainment as well. Could trouble the top few. Other than that, Warrington is the other one. But as far as stadium travels is concerned, it'll take a break now until September at least.